Good morning. It is October 13th, 2024. And I have a scripture, Revelation 3.20. I'm going to read. I would like to start by saying that this is a, a vision and prayer that I always love about this very specific scripture. I'm going to share it. It's the Amplified Version. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears and listens and heeds my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him, and he will eat with me. Now, this has always been a very intriguing scripture. I always thought that Jesus would literally come to my door, <laughs> I'm sharing my story, um, and I would have my plates. I literally leave an extra plate at the table just in case Jesus comes. Now, I don't know about you, but there's an old saying to always leave an extra plate for somebody that an unexpected guest. In some households, they do that at the dinner table, that is. Um, but I had a vision. And I wanted to share my vision about the eagle's wings and going into Judea. And I know it's close at hand that this scripture will be fulfilled uh, about the Jewish people fleeing to Judea. And my vision was that America would be spared in the last days for a short time. And... I believe that Donald Trump will be flying most of the Jewish people into Judea. And I had this vision years ago, and I'm sharing it now. I've been watching the polls, and I've been watching everything, but I had that vision about three years ago. And I'm sharing it because... I've had this vision repeatedly come up and I wanted to share it. And I also had the vision of Jesus stopping with us at one point. We would not be here for the events that take place in Israel when they fly into Judea. So I wanted to share what I had seen in my vision. So with that said, um, I've, don't have a whole lot of visions, but I did have that vision. But with everything that's going on in Iran and Israel and looking at what could possibly be nuclear, we're closer and closer to Jacob's trouble and also the end of the church age. So we know the restrainer has to be removed along with the church. So while we've been watching the celestial events take place as signs, according to Matthew 24, and Luke as well, uh, Jesus said in his also uh, scripture that I lost. I had it, but I don't have it with me. But it says that Jesus goes to prepare a place for us, and if it weren't so... He would not have told us that. So he has already prepared a place for us. And then it's followed with 1 Thessalonians 4.16, where he descends from heaven with a shout and the sound of the trump of God. And those who dead in Christ will rise first, and those who remain will be caught up with the Lord. And he's told that, he told John to write a letter to the church of Thessalonians make sure to reassure them that the people that had passed away waiting for the Lord and the rapture of the church that they would the dead in Christ would rise first that was a reassurance that letter to the Th church of Thessalonians so um, as I dig into this a little bit more the revision I'm sorry the vision that is um, about what happens in Judea during the tribulation 
or Jacob's trouble had me curious. But I have had not many visions, but visions like this, that the eagle's wings was America and America having the symbolic eagle being the one flying Jewish people into Judea, into Petra, uh, to escape whatever it is that they were going to escape because they were going to be trampled upon in Jerusalem. So I wanted to share my vision about what I had seen three years ago. And it's looking like times are getting closer and closer to that. After October 7th, it's not surprising that this is happening now that that happened and what's occurred since. But as the world is against Israel and now we're watching Russia and Turkey and an alliance grow between that and Iran, something must be occurring because this looks like very much like the ten horns are coming together or possibly, well, I, I want to say it's the ten horns and the beast will come to rise to power and it could be Turkey, it could be, it could be Turkey or it could be one France, it could be a number of possibilities. But people all suspect it could be Barack Obama. But that being said, um, I've been watching different videos on who they suspect it could be, who will lead that confederacy of nations that will eventually be the Ten Horns. So we're curious at the same time as we're watching prophecy fulfilled. Uh, it's very interesting as you get into the visions and a lot of people are having visions as prophesied that old men, young men would dream dreams and old men would have visions. And that's a prophetic and there's video after video after video of people having visions and dreams. So I just thought I'd share that with the scripture itself or that Jesus would sup with us and knock at the door. Literally, I think that the bride should be prepared and prepared to in the bridal chamber, literally by preparing yourself in the word of God because the days are numbered for us here as we know we will be transforming in a twinkling of, a, of an eye whether we'll be in dress clothes work clothes or whatever it says in the word that one will be at the mill one will be taken the other left one will be in the field one will be taken the other left so we shall see these events are coming to pass and we're watching as we know, like I said, not only celestial events according to Matthew 24, but events are taking place on the world stage. And that's it for my video. Oh, I wanted to mention Daniel the Shofar guy posted a video, an apology video, so I'll link that in the description box. If you would like to see that, all is forgiven. We just know date setting doesn't work. And we just know that power is approaching and we should be ready in our bridal chamber at any time. Because doctrine of imminency is real as we should be watching for the events to take place very soon. Very soon. Thank you for watching and God bless.